Hey folks, John Ferguson Smart here. Do you write test cases before your application has been built or after it's been completed so you can see what you're testing? The logical answer might be you write them afterwards because you want to know what you're testing. You want your test cases to match the thing that you're testing. But in fact, if you write your tests after your application is finished or after your feature is finished, oftentimes what you end up testing is how the feature has been implemented. You test the implementation details. You test exactly what has been done. You can lose focus on what the application should do, which is what comes from the requirements. What I like to do is to express my requirements in a form that I can then turn into an executable test or not. Maybe I'll make an executable test. Maybe it could just be a manual test. But in any case, it is the requirements that I'm really focusing on, the business rules, the examples of behavior, the key outputs that we're interested in. Then you can go to town with your testing on figuring out whether a feature actually achieves those outcomes. But there's one thing that's really important in all of this, whether it's implementing your tests or implementing your application as a whole, you want to try very hard to be clear on the what, to have clarity on what you're trying to do, on what you're trying to achieve, and to be flexible on the how, to not worry about locking yourself into a particular implementation, to locking yourself into a particular solution, to leave yourself flexibility at that level, but to be very clear on what business outcomes, what business flows, what goals you're trying to achieve. If you can keep that clarity at the goal level and flexibility at the implementation level, it will make your life a lot easier, both when it comes to implement, implementing a feature and when it comes to testing and when it comes to automating those tests. So that's my key takeaway for today. Be clear on the what but be flexible on the how.